it's good. It's really good. Yeah, um, the two weeks break were uh, were a great option in the end, and and it's uh, the body's feeling great. Pulled up really well after the game, so it's um, yeah, exciting. How do you get up for, for this one, given that was the one that got away on the weekend? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be really tough. Um, semi-finals aren't that big of games, and it's just going to be a, just going to have to really work hard to get get the momentum up. And obviously, a lot of uh, sarcasm in my voice, but uh, yeah, there's a missed opportunity though. Like yeah, we went we went there to win. Yeah, of course, we went there to win. And um, Collingwood are a great side. Uh, like any side, they've they've got their flaws. They've they've got their strengths and. Um, we thought that we would have been able to exploit them and unfortunately we didn't win. And, uh, but we've given ourselves an opportunity to have a, another crack at it this week against Carlton. Hopefully, uh, yeah, the game plan stands up and, and, we, uh, and we have the victory. As a defender, how much, can you explain how much it changes playing at home as opposed to the G in terms of the press and, and uh, protecting your goals? That's it. Oh yeah, not it, for me. It doesn't change much. No. They're doing more space than they work you over. Whereas here, you really can press them. And yeah. The, the press really is at its best. Yeah, well, I think the the ground's definitely wider at the G. Um, we only played one game there this year, and we were lucky enough to uh, train there on Friday in between the showers. We sort of rushed on and off the oval. Was, but uh, the, our press has been definitely our strength. Our defensive pressure has been our real, uh, the key to a, a lot of our um, wins this year. And um, look, we love playing here. We'd, uh, a great crowd will turn out. There was a great crowd at the G on the weekend. And um, yeah, we'll just uh, just press them and see if they can get through it. Yeah, it's 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 unbelievable. The, the great thing about uh, the West Coast fans I've found is that the the few years that I've I've been involved at last year wasn't uh, wasn't great, and the year before we again wasn't great. And 05, 06 we made grand finals, and I um, I don't believe that the the support has been any more this year than than last year. I, I think the fans um, are quite resilient. They they love their footy. Uh, they love they're very passionate, and uh, and I. I, I don't necessarily think that there was anybody that um, jumped off board or neglected us last year. So it's a it's a credit to to the supporters and, and it's a credit to WA Footy really. I, I think Fremantle are in a similar boat. Their fans have, have stuck with them. We still get great crowds every week, and um, we've actually got a couple of uh, compendiums in the in the change rooms at the moment with different um, what messages and have a great game and we love you guys and. All that sort of stuff, and that uh, it's it's yeah, it's really humbling how many people um, care and and uh, send in their support. So we're, we're very grateful. Oh, he can't miss two weeks with a cramp, surely. <laughs> Come on, Dino. <laughs> He'll be fine. Um, oh, is it is it a recovery based session this morning? So. I was, just more about I've uh, got our main session Wednesday, working towards that, and um, yeah, Dean will be fine. Thank you, Daniel. You talked about three in a row. Three in a row, yeah. It's uh, look, Daniel knows his body really well, and um, he's he's super keen to play this week. Uh, on the weekend, it just uh, just didn't didn't pan out. Sorry about that. Three at W. Um, yeah, so stand up. There you go. Good special attention. <laughs> Um, and it, we, we know that you can't take blokes in that are underdone in, in finals and, and uh, yeah, didn't think he was going to get through, so he didn't play. The fence now has had a few games together with guys coming back from injury. You think it's holding up well, it's pretty good against the Fox. Yeah, I, I thought it was, it was right. I, I um, thought the, our key defenders did great jobs on, on doors and cloak. Uh, I think Eric and, and Darren stood up and... Um, showed great leadership to really shut them out of the game. I, I thought the pressure on our on the midfielders was again a um, a credit to the midfielders and the delivery into the forward line hasn't been um, the best by opposition teams all year because of our pressure and definitely helps the backs out. Um, makes our job a lot easier. Another tough matchup this week with Carlton small quick forwards and Walker about to wait for the much of issue. Yeah, yeah, Walker play. Yeah, oh, it would be great. I can't wait. I, I, 
sometimes, you, you, obviously, finals you're playing against sides that have had uh, successful years, and, and therefore they're going to have pl individual players that have had great games. But um, our, our big message all year has been about playing your role, about 22 contributors, and and um, and I think with that, it, every everyone's job just gets made so much easier. So. Uh, it's not, not such a daunting task to play on an individual player. I think all six of our backs are very versatile and can play on each of their forwards. Or maybe easy, probably not get stuck on Garlett, but I'm sure if he does at stages, he can do a good job. How about that first quarter? Is it, is it really important given the bets in Garlett? They tend to, if they get a couple of the ball, they play so well. It's important for you guys to try and shut them down. Oh, I'd be disappointed with the backs if we were going to try harder at any stage of the game. I, I think it... As a side, we, we need to be focused from the first bounce. I, I, I definitely, I think Essendon gave them too much room. Um, and I, I, without being a coach, I wouldn't have thought that the pressure through the midfield is on the same page as our, our pressure. So um, hopefully our mids and our forwards can help us out with that. What about Patterson's done in? I mean, you've turned it back into sort of a house of pain. Is that something that the Blues would have to be worried about coming to, over here to play in your dummy or something? Uh, yeah, I don't think they'll be overly worried. I think most teams travel. I'm not sure. Have they been there? They beat Fremantle here this year. So it's, yeah, so many variables. I think going into a finals game, I think going into any game, that the variables of travel and these sorts of things, different grounds, you need to be able to adapt, otherwise you get exposed. And I'm sure that they'll address that. I'm sure Subi's not too different to... Um, to any of the other grounds on the. What about the judge that you played that flag with him and there's been a couple of furious attempts to sleep him over time? Yeah. How do you reckon it'll go with the judges? Yeah, it'll be great. It's a, another great challenge. I, I touched on it before. We're, we're trying not to get too focused on individual players. Uh, it's a collective effort and Chris is a great player. Um, Mark Murphy's been playing great footy. They've, they've got some, uh, some really good individual contributors and uh, it'll be it'll be a good challenge for for different players that'll play on him. Um, I'm sure that every not everyone. I'm, I'm sure a lot of guys will get a, a crack at him at, at some stage. You try to take some energy out of his body, so to speak, if you get near him. <laughs> if we cross paths, I'll just uh, might be able to whisper something in his ear.